shares never afraid to get into it on Twitter. One user called Dua Lipa the share of our generation and share responded how many years are in a generation and then she also responded with her song. Do you believe in love of love? <laughs> I don't think you're strong enough. Oh, man. I don't That's know what the editor is going to do with this. I cannot <laughs> wait to see what they do with that. This is my problem with with icons and legends. Why do they get so up in air, up in arms about when somebody wants to compare them, some like a younger artist? Like I would take that as a compliment. Dua Lipa is still making things relevant for you. The fact that your name has still in like in on it brought being brought up just because you're an icon doesn't mean you're still relevant. Oh but my. to have your name brought up oh. again because of this young. Let's be honest, Dua Lipa oh is also very talented. Am I right? Like, or am I wrong? I think that she does a lot with the talent that she has. Do you think she's talented? I'm in agony. Oh, stop. What the heck are you talking about? Have you seen her documentary? No, this, you know this is for me? What is wrong with saying she is What did share, she say? She's the share of this generation? No, she is the Dua Lipa of this generation. And Cher is still alive and well and still will come and s rock the house and sing the Absolutely. walls down. So I don't know what... The, and I also, but why is it taken as a threat that Dua Lipa is now going to replace Cher? Because I think it's Cher. an unnecessary and almost disrespectful comparison. It's like, you know, not that long ago we were talking about Harry, Harry Styles. Styles being the king of pop. No, you're not. You're amazing. You're incredible. And I, I, I potentially... Taking my daughter and flying to New York just to watch that concert. Mm -hmm. I'm putting money into your career. I mean, that I was a strong. You. That was a strong statement. And I, I don't, don't think I believe. Uh, I agree cannot, with that. I just don't love when we make those kind of comparisons, especially when someone's hot versus great. Do you know what Cher's discography looks like? Yeah, Do you know how much work she has put. But in? at what point? Do we know the history of Sunny and Cher. Well, Before that's what I'm saying. Before you want to compare someone that's hot to someone that's great, you got to check yourself and have a little. I know, respect. but at what point? Dua Lipa has not. I what the point? <laughs> At what point did Cher become Cher, right? It had to do with her releasing tons yeah, of albums, not after her she... becoming, uh, having tons of beautiful success, right? Okay, so you're she didn't okay just with show that? up and everyone was like, oh my gosh, we've got a legend. It yeah. takes time to build a legend. I think in this situation, people are saying she is the next, not saying she is our like share. No, but she's saying, the next, the quote, meaning she's, she's going the, to the share have of our generation. She's going to have the very same similar type of success that will one day take her to be a legend. I think people misread into it. I think people get emotional about it. You just turned it into something that's now palatable, which is not easily digested. <laughs> she's going to be a legend. Okay, great. I can get behind that. But if you say she is share of our generation, I don't know. Next, Chloe Bailey sets the internet ablaze with a topless photo shoot in a dirty bathroom. First of all, I personally did not even notice the toilet that's uh, the toilet paper that's all messy there because she looks stunning. My only thing with this is she's just coming sort of into her adult years. And she has in the past opened up about the fact that 80% of the time, People think she's confident, but she's in fact feeling the opposite, feeling insecure. So where this gets a little bit questionable for me is, is it coming out of an insecure place and you're just looking for validation? Because we know social media does that for people, right? You get that little dose of dopamine here and there. But if it's coming out of confidence, then it's a different story. Because I have also posted something similar to this on the beach. Shoot but a it picture. <laughs> But see, <laughs> but it like it came out of confidence. It's well, like mama looks great. good at 40. Like here yeah. we go. Okay, so here's the difference between your picture and her picture. Mm -hmm. I, tell me the difference. Okay, so I'm not gonna um here, let me just <laughs> straight shoot her, right? So that picture, what do you mean you don't notice the toilet paper? Of course you notice the toilet paper. I actually didn't, genuinely okay, did not. Fine. You don't notice the toilet paper. I notice the toilet paper. I notice it, she's topless. I notice that she's sitting on a toilet with her pants on. To me, it just doesn't make any sense. Wait. It's like a weird concept. It's supposed to be a conceptual photo. Yeah. It's obviously artistic. Yeah. She looks amazing, but I don't under, like, I, like if it's a conceptual photo, I don't get the concept. But isn't I that what art more... is? Like, to start a conversation, that's what an art, like, an, what that is what art is. So in this situation, we're, we're talking about it. Sure, but I, I don't, I just don't follow the concept. I'm talking about it because I'm saying, what the heck is she doing? Well, maybe she was just in the bathroom and she was about to change Absolutely. and then she was like, you know what, I look good. Hey, come here, take a photo. Cause that's kind of what happened to me at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Well, uh, look, I hope that I hope that she's feeling secure. She's doing. She's super talented, and she has a lot to offer the world. I think that if she's trying to overcompensate, yeah. I hope she gets that boost of confidence, that clarity that she doesn't need to do that. And I think she can take as sexy a picture as she feels like. But I think in terms of like just looking at the photo for what it is, I don't love the concept. I don't think it was executed well. Do you think you would have liked line. it better if the toilet paper was rolled up? I think I would have liked it better if it made sense, like. If she had if the toilet the paper pants was rolled at her up. ankles and she was like, oh. Oh, so now you want to, okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't. Then the concept makes sense. Oh, you can't. Then she's like actually bathroom. on the toilet. What are you doing in the bathroom? Now it's no one's on. business that she's actually on All the right. toilet. Here's what we, we do need to talk about. Addison Ray's parents, because yes. apparently Addison is mortified by them. In July, we found out that her father allegedly had this five-month affair with a 25-year-old. And then this week, her mom goes to the VMAs with young, Gravy, mm -hmm. who called her the queen of MILFs. I'm in the MILFs and she's kind of the queen of MILFs. Oh my God. <laughs> and now Addison's father responds completely unbothered by saying, thank you, young Gravy, for taking the leftovers. Lord, it's a lot going on. I know. First of all, most people didn't even know who Young Gravy was. I did not know. Not I still don't know. It's not even a notable I actually pop still don't know who Young Gravy is. <laughs> right? I and know then, how to spell his name, though. <laughs> I think. Exactly. Yes, that's Thanks it. Thanks to uh, Auntie yeah. Warwick. <laughs> yes. There we go. <laughs> exactly. I also don't like the fact that he referred... Aren't they still married? Well... They refer we referred to the mom as leftovers. That's, now they're just You can't just be disrespecting the, your, your child's mom. Mother, probably. exactly. Even if you hate her, you can't do that. that. See, this is my pro... At first, when I saw her mom come out, I was just like, hey, she looks good. Mm -hmm. All the power to her. But then when I found out that was Addison Rae's mom and then the whole messiness of it, I went, okay, that's where you draw the line. No problem with being wild and having these moments, yes. midlife, whatever you want to call it. But don't do it in public, especially when you know your kid is in the public Wait, eye. Take something you just said and build on it for a second. In public, obviously, a lot of people are speculating that this is a PR relationship. It's not a real relationship. They're not in love. This is a response to they, you know, the fact that she was publicly were, embarrassed by they the. They were kissing. Yeah, but it's still a PR. On the mouth. It's still a PR relationship. I haven't even given How do my you feel about a PR on the relationship? Cheek. How do you feel about that, though? About the idea or the idea of that people will do, will be together for the sake of PR? I think it's gross, especially once again when your daughter is in the public eye. Like, what is this gonna do? I think this makes it even worse for Addison. Like, it was one thing with, with the dad, and obviously we saw how that affected yeah. her. And then now you have this. So PR know. or not, it's, it's, it's not, not a right. good look. It's not a good look, and it just it should never have happened. And I feel for Addison because she's going to need some serious therapy for this. Leonardo DiCaprio, he's definitely consistent. This week he splits from his girlfriend Camilla Marone just two months after she turned 25, which means his track record of never dating a woman past her mid 20s continues. Now, we know he's consumed mm -hmm. with, you know, climate control and climate change and preserving <laughs> the earth. Making a world a better place. Yeah, but I, I think maybe he's like, maybe he's also kind of consumed with like preserving his youth. Like, <laughs> like don't- Meaning he's in denial. Well, why does he just have to date someone in their 20s? You can date someone younger than you. There's no problem with that. Older than you, no problem with that. Yeah. It's about the connection Yeah. and like, what an individual brings to the table and how that affects you. And, and that's the beautiful thing, right? It's like right. every relationship should be different, but there's a, there's a, there's a grid. Yes, there's a pattern here. No, no, hold on. Like an actual grid, like that you could see, like, yeah. like a map. Which shows the pattern. Yeah. Which is a very unhealthy pattern. And I'm with you on that. Nothing wrong with dating somebody who, where there's this huge age gap. Right. Fine. You're, like you said, connection is connection. Well, huge love age is gap? Love. He's 47. No, I'm saying, but you're saying nothing's wrong with a huge age gap. Are you standing no. by that? Uh, well, yeah. Uh, who am I you're to You're okay say? with a huge age gap? Who am I to say or, or judge when Sonya. people actually fall in love and there is like a 20 plus year age gap, right? right. right. I'm, I'm just going asking. to, just listen, asking. I've never been with anybody who's been that much older than me, but that, there, I don't, I, I can't judge that. Okay. However, where it gets gross for me is when it's a continual pattern. I feel like he's stuck in his era of Jack, right? When he did Titanic, he was 22 or 21, something like right. that. Like he froze as Jack. Even he doesn't want to let go 
of Jack. And he like, still kind of looks the same, right? He still dresses the same. same he does not course. look the same. Well, talk about like his. Uh, the I got news for you, Leonardo. You do not look the same. Like hey, you have nice. aged. Be nice. But, but no, but I'm being in a great way. But I think in his head, he thinks he looks the same. Well, here's the thing. I've I've known about this. There's this. There's a formula. Another formula. Half your age, <laughs> plus seven. Okay, not plus eight. Plus six. So Why seven? I'm uh, so. Huh? Why, why seven? What do you mean why seven? That's the rule. I don't know. That's the formula. Who made up this rule? It's Google. It's it's Googleable. <laughs> who, but I want to know who made up this rule. You want to know the somebody origins of the rule? Somebody who's dating somebody their age plus seven? <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably. Probably. However, no. let's say someone's 60. 30 plus, ooh, 60 and 37. I mean, I, listen, I could date a 60-year-old man. I love this next story. LeBron James covers Sports Illustrated with his sons. Now you can see it says the chosen sons on the cover and it's 20 years after the magazine called LeBron the chosen one in 2002. LeBron's dream is to play in the NBA alongside both Bronny and Bryce and Tyrone. I know you have so much to say about this. I know that a few years back when I looked at Bronny and Bryce, I wasn't sure that this was necessarily a shared dream or if this was something that LeBron was now right. just imposing just on them. them. But if you look at how bronny has been playing lately, performing yeah. lately, he is in love with the game. He has uh, a lot to offer the game. And I think that because he didn't reach a certain caliber yeah. at a certain age, a lot of people kind of just went, ah. He's not the next LeBron. However, he is oh. a great basketball player. Oh, now we're player. talking about the next LeBron. Can there ever be a next LeBron? Because we were just talking oh. about the whole share thing. There can oh. never be the next share. Right, and this is why I was right. saying people said that. Mm. And the, what I love about this story Clarifying is that he's, being, that he's becoming his own. So, yes, he's not going to be the next LeBron, but he's coming to us as Bronny, which is a great player in itself. So I love to see Bronny coming into himself. Bryce coming into himself being the youngest. And this dream that LeBron had I is now shared. Dream. I love this. I, I think it's brilliant. And I think that he's also doing the work. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like, oh, I want this. I want to play with my sons one day. And just leaving it to chance. Yeah. His he's diet. Up, yes. Everything. Talk all of me, that. You know it. He yeah. looks amazing. I, listen, to watching him just along the side eating out of a Ziploc bag. I remember, and I was like, oh, why does, he, why does he have to use a plastic bag? But now that I know more of the story, I'm like, do what you got to do. Yeah. My only concern with this is, I mean, I can't even imagine being his kids. The pressure. Mm. Like, is his goal to win like a championship? Or will it be, hey, we're all, we made it to the NBA, a week went on, okay, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, listen, all of those things are, are, are definitely considerations, but like I said, the fact that I'm seeing Bronny loving the game himself yeah. and it's not just a LeBron dream, that's what makes it come full circle for me, and it makes it a feel good. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna end things there, but drop us a comment and let us know if you think Dua Lipa is the share of this generation. Or whether or not you think Leo DiCaprio will ever settle down with a woman his age. I think we know the answer to that. And while you're here, check out Lainey's interview with Kevin Hart and Mark Wahlberg. You gotta hear their Canadian accents. Plus, don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll see you next week. One love.